Hey there, my name is Vatna Vedri Alik, and welcome back to Risk of Rain Returns, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have done a lot since the last episode, quite a lot indeed. Um, I have unlocked quite a few things. See, my Providence Trials are quite large here. Uh, we could maybe warm up with a Providence Trial, that could be kind of fun. That would make for a fun episode. What do we got here? Kited Blade. Shatter at least 75 targets before you reach the end of the underwater chasm as the chef. Your secondary skill is locked. You start with the following items. Goat Hoof times 48, so you're super fast. So you have infinite double jumps, infinite jetpack. Okay. Uh, whoa. All right. So, yeah, welcome to the chef. Uh, how do we... Oh, probably like this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow, this is going to be a fun one. Um, so yeah, welcome to Risk of Rain Returns, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know if the game wants me to just, like, keep going to the right. Uh, we're just gonna do that, because that's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, bonus stock. Interesting. Uh, and then we can also use LB, which just, like, does the oil thing, right? Um, why is it not letting me hit R- hello? RB? There we go. Um, okay, this is an, an interesting challenge. Failure. Okay, so you gotta be probably super duper duper fast on this one. Uh, do you have to reach the end of the chasm? Alright, so basically the idea here is to do one of these and then- Oh, are you just supposed to do this and then just like go to the end? Is that what it means for you to do? Interesting. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense actually. Uh, so yeah, you need to get- <laughs> So we're playing as the chef. This is a really weird one compared to most of the stuff. Uh, we're playing as the chef, and basically the chef is a very interesting character that, um, uh, we're, okay, we need to, yeah, so you definitely want to, don't want to be slow. I have given up, by the way, on getting all of the golds, because my god, getting all the golds is gonna be, oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close, oh, it's gonna be close, oh, I was literally, oh, did we do it? We did it after the fact. Yeah, so a lot of stuff to explain um, while we're trying to do this, which is quite difficult to explain. Um, but basically, we're playing as the chef here. The chef's got like boomerang blades, uh, and he's he's pretty fun. He's a pretty fun character that also feels very good as well. Um, but basically, he's his ultimate. Uh, I call it his ultimate, but you know his RB skill is he powers up his other stuff. So basically what this one's- Oh, I just need one more. I just need one more. I just need one more. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. Yeah. Cool beans. Wait, what do you mean failure? Oh, you have to literally make it to the end too? Alright. Fair enough. I did not realize that. Okay, so. Basically, yeah, his ultimate is it empowers a normal ability. And what it does for your uh, boomerang blades is it causes them to go in every direction, basically. Um, so you need to get to the end of the course here, as well as getting as many targets as possible. So there we go. Now where's the end of the course? Beautiful. And you get an achievement for each one of these, and you also get an unlock. Arcane blades unlock. This item will now drop. Sweet. So, yeah, um, we'll do one of those to warm up each of these episodes. Uh, okay, so let's go to challenges. So, yeah, I'm, unfortunately, I want to do a run, but I'm not good at, like, any of these characters, except for the Huntress. The Huntress is so easy to be good at, I feel like. So, I'm feeling either the Chef, because the Chef's fun and he's funny, or the Pilot. The Pilot is kind of like my go-to kind of side main at the moment. So I think we'll switch back to Cluster Fire. Cluster Fire feels better than Rapid Fire. Also, I like Rapid Deployment over Acrobatics. And this one, kill 10 enemies without touching the ground or geysers. So we'll try to unlock this in the course of this run. Because I would like to get whatever this is. I have no idea what that is. Kill 10 enemies without touching the ground or geysers. So that'll be our goal. And then we also have the Command Artifact enabled as well. Uh, which, if you don't know what that means, basically, um, that just means that we can choose our items. Uh, which sounds overpowered, but honestly is does not make the game as easy as you would think. Because this game is just hard in general. Uh, but yeah, I find this to be better. The triple shot. 
uh, because it basically stuns. Oof. Did not want to get hit like that. I find the triple shot to be better because it basically stuns on that third shot because it goes da da and then the last one like pierces. So we're going to grab the soldier syringe here. Increases attack speed. Yeah, I find this to be far better than the other one personally. Uh, let's do one of those and then shoot them while they're in the air. I've gotten a little bit better at pilot. I've practiced him just a little bit. Uh, you can see this just like permanently stuns. So yeah, now whenever we open up a chest, we get to choose what we want. I'm going to choose infusion. Killing an enemy per permanently increases your health. Because I feel like doing that early is definitely the way to go. We have another chest here for 25. So let's get this crab killed. Do, 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 do. Okay, that should get us a white, I'm assuming, which will go for... Uh, let's do Lens Maker's Glasses, chance to deal double damage. So yeah, we get to choose now what items we want. There's another chest down there to the bottom right. Uh, and that's pretty cool. You would think, like I said, that that would be super duper... Um, that's so satisfying to do. You would think that that would be super duper overpowered, but as far as I've found, I mean, this game is just obviously very difficult, and unless you're playing the Huntress, like I said... Okay, let's grab another item. Uh, I like to go for the soldier syringes, just so we're firing constantly. And we basically just deal a ton of damage. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. And we've got a damage chest, which again, is there anything else that we want? Bustling fungus, chance to bleed, but we'll probably be killing things fast enough. Um, we could do the mag. What does this do? Yeah, we just unlock this. Move faster after activating the teleporter? Interesting. Okay, so that I'll like permanently unlock now. Um, I can see there's a relic over there, but I'm not sure. We've already got the relics pretty much. Okay, let's do this. And when he goes up, let's do that. Let's do this. Excuse me. All right, so we got to find the teleporter. If I can get a win on the pilot, that would be sick. I haven't gotten a win on anybody other than the Huntress, which makes me feel like I'm bad at the game. But then again, the game is also very difficult, so I don't know. It's just very hard, you know? Um, but yeah, we have the command artifact enabled, which means that when we get an item, we can choose what that item is, which means we can custom make our build, which to me just sounds... Like, what the heck? Okay, so, like, wouldn't that just immediately make your wins that much easier? Because as far as I can tell, there's zero drawback. The only drawback, in fact. Oh, we can see the red uh, particles here, which means the teleporter's up here. The only uh, drawback, as far as I can tell. Okay, we got the magma worm. Um, let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. Wait, we're immune when we do the... Wait, are we immune when we do the... When we do the, uh, the mines? I didn't know that. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not good. Not good. No, 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 no. Oh, there's a log up there, too. No, no, no! Come on! I'm so bad at it! Ugh. Freaking magma worm! Stop giving me magma worm all the time! I'm done with the magma worm! Alright, let's try this again. Let's jump right back into it. That, that's what I mean. It's like, you would think it would be easier, right? But then you just die in a second anyways. And you can't do much. Ugh, dang it. This game is so freaking difficult. Um, okay. So, we're playing the pilot. The pilot is very fun. But, again, just every character feels like they're so much harder to play versus the Huntress. But, obviously, you know, you want to switch it up. You want to have some fun. Uh, so, I'm going to chill here until I can get some a few more gold to grab this chest and i like getting yeah the soldier syringe um i don't know if it's be is it better to just get a whole bunch of different stuff or is it better yeah are we immune when we do yeah you're immune when you place the mine that's interesting also the teleporters right here you can see by the little particles all right let's go you want to find the teleporter instantly don't be magma worm i swear to god it's only given me magma worm lately which uh, is uh, not even that difficult, just very kind of annoying. Yeah. Not even that difficult, as I am going to die again. Watch. Okay, no. Be, 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 be positive. 
Okay. Let's do one of these. Um, yeah, it's just kind of hard to fight while you're fighting other stuff. Yeah, that LT does a lot of damage, though. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, and then we'll go over here. Okay, LT, LT. Why did that not hit him? Do, 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 do. There we go. Magma Worm dead. Uh, we get a green. We'll go for infusion. Obviously, increase the amount of HP that you get. Uh, I usually find it worth to go for the shrine immediately when you find one, because it's only 17. Nice, we get a use item. Uh, we're going to go for the Shattered Mirror. My personal favorite use item, hearkening back to Maple Story, where you um, get a shadow partner that mimics your abilities, basically. All right, now we got to go find some items. Where are the items? Got a drone there. Got an item up there, so we want to jump off the geyser here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's go like this. We I have no idea if it getting infusion early is worth or not. Um, let's go for more attack speed. I'm just going to go for attack speed for this one. I'm going to stack soldier syringes and see if that's good or not, basically. Uh, 60 for an offense. Let's do that. Let's go for Jar of Wisps. I like getting chance to detonate enemies on kill. I have no idea what, like, the... What the, you know... Supposed uh, best possible way to do stuff is. Oh, don't go up there. Don't go up there. Come on, man. I can't get over to you over there. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So we just wasted 20 gold. Uh, dang it. All right. Um, we have 24 gold. Is there anything else I can buy? Oh, man. Oh, if we could find a container, we could get a bitter root or a... We could get another LT. Yeah, the LT would probably be worth... Do, do, do. Um, okay, let's go back to the teleporter. If we find another container, we'll go back and grab that item. But otherwise, we'll just move on. But oh do do Let's go. Let's go to the next stage, the Damp Gabbards. All right, so walk through on the pilot, for those that don't know what this guy does. Basically, his RT, uh, which I switched, you know, I switched my RT and LT, but basically his uh, normal attack is he fires once, twice, and then fires a third piercing stronger shot. I believe it is stronger. So very good for dealing damage to multiple groups of enemies. Uh, let's get these guys killed. Okay, I'm gonna use my mirror here, because this guy's tanky as hell. Yeah. Because if we could grab this chest, that would be fantastic, but I'm not seeing any enemies spawning. They might be down here. Where are you guys at? Oh, there's a chest over here. For 66. Come on, give me some enemies. Uh, his LT will fire in the air, or if you're in the air, will fire down below. Really cool skill, actually. It does a lot of damage, too. Um, his LB jumps you up in a parachute. If you're moving forward, it'll sort of move you forward as well. Okay, we have enough for this chest here. Got a white. Let's go. Let's just keep stacking attack speed. See if that's the way to go. Increases attack speed. Uh, so yeah, his LB is a little parachute, and then his RT moves you back, makes you immune, and then, immune, and then drops a mine on the ground as well, which launches enemies into the air. Super cool, super fun. So as you can see, if they walk over it, they'll be launched into the air. We can follow that up with some LTs. Very fun. Okay, let's get this guy killed, and then try to go back and grab that 120 chest or whatever. Um, need to kill a couple more of these dudes. Yeah, so I've gotten a little bit better at the pilot. Still not good at any character other than Huntress, I would say. Uh, where are these guys spawning? I can hear them spawning, I can hear them attacking and doing weird stuff, but I'm not seeing them anywhere. There you are. Come on, buddy, let's go. Nice. Okay. Need a little bit more for this chest here. Which probably is going to get us green. 
Come on, spawn some dudes. I don't like the infusion. I the, whatever this red crap is that's around us. I'm not a fan of that because um, yeah, it makes me think the teleporter's near. Yeah, that might do it there. 131. Yes, sir. All right, if you want to give me a red, that would be sick. All right, we got another green. Um, I'm just going to stack different effects. I'm going to take uh, this, which is called Leeching Seed Attacks, Attacking Enemies Heals You. So I'm going to go for like a right trigger oriented build, basically, where I'm just attacking constantly, constantly healing. Oh, we got a double 66 item here. Let's go over this way, buddy. Okay, this guy should give me some decent money, right? I wonder if there's like a secret over here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, also, you can place the mines down from the air as well. Ooh, 66. Nice. Okay. So what do we got here? We've got... I'm going to keep attack... I keep uh, increasing attack speed just constantly. Yeah, so now we're attacking quite fast. Because that'll give us crowd control as well. Okay, let's go this way. Whee! Whee! Okay, we're looking for the little red blips on the screen that are not the infusion. Or whatever. Also, yeah, there's a challenge to kill, like, ten enemies before we fall down. Which I find to be very, very difficult. Like, how the heck are you supposed to do that? You need to get, like, ten enemies around a teleporter, for sure. And then you need to... Yeah, like, jump into the air and kill them before you hit the ground. Let's play the shrine once. We get a use item, which is trash. Because we already have a good use item. Probably should have switched to something else, just in case. Okay, here's the teleporter. Let's do it. Let's take a look at our DPS. What do we got? It's gonna be the magma worm again. Unbelievable. That's fine. All right, I gotta stop freaking out about that. Okay. Ooh, look at that DPS. Ooh, look at that DPS though. Ooh, and we got a legendary. Very nice. Very nice. So yeah, if I can maybe get ten enemy, I need this. Um, I need this gun to stop spawning though. If I can get ten enemies here, no! You just die, man. Oh come on. <sighs> That's super unfortunate. Well, let's play somebody else then. Let's go with like the chef or the loader. What else sounds fun? Acrid. I used to play some acrid. We could play some acrid. Yeah, let's play some Acrid. Jeez Louise, I need to, like, focus up. Acrid deals huge amount of damage after stacking poisons from his festering wounds. Caustic Sludge and Epidemic. Try to stun targets inside your Caustic Sludge for maximum damage. Remember that you can fight at both melee and range. And, uh, we have, um, this skin, this skin, this skin. I like blue Acrid. Okay, what do we got? So, he's got Festering Wounds. I used to play Acrid back in the day, but I haven't played him since, so I don't know what this stuff does. It's been a while. Maul an enemy for 120% damage. Target is poised for 24% damage per second. Neurotoxin. Spit Toxic Bile for 220% damage. Stunning enemies in a line for one second. Okay, so that's a stun. Caustic Sludge. Secrete poisonous sludge for two seconds, speeds up allies while slowing and hurting enemies for 90% damage. Okay, and then we've also got dissolving ambush. Spit out a poisonous blob forming a puddle that slows and hurts enemies for 100% damage. Use the second time to dissolve into acid and warp to the puddle, dealing 400% damage. I like this. And then epidemic. Release a deadly disease, poisoning enemies for 100% damage per second. The contagion spreads to two targets after one second. Acrid kill caged acrid in less than 15 seconds. Complete the Providence Trial Caustic Climb. Alternatively, collect 300 items as acrid. Oh, interesting. There's alternate. All right. Uh, difficulty, we'll do Rainstorm, and we'll keep having command, because unless it's making it, like, harder or something, I don't know. Okay, so acrid's fun. Um, basically, yeah, he's got, like, a claw. I think it's a he. He's got, like, a claw move here, uh, that basically poisons enemies. And then a stun in a line as well, which, uh, you really want to get good at, like, I guess, stunning everything in a line and then biting at them or clawing at them or whatever we're doing. Okay, 
let's go find the teleporter. Let's go find where it is. Hello. Boop. And then his LB. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have this, though. So then you can warp into. So, yeah, he spits. Um, his LB is he spits and then warps. How much damage does that do? Okay, that does not do that much damage, but it stuns, it looks like. Mm, da -da -da -da. So, yeah, melee. I don't know really what it means by ranged. Like, yeah, your RB is ranged and your LT is a little ranged, but to be able to fight at ranged. I mean, like, maybe? I don't know why I did that. Because, yeah, the thing has a high cooldown. Okay, so I gotta figure out what type of build we want for Acrid, since the whole thing is about poison, right? Mm, uh, yeah, let's go for the drone. Healing drone. But, pal okay, everything's to the left, it looks like. Okay, it looks like you're supposed to spam his LT as well. And then we can do his LB, kind of warp around a little bit. Okay, do, 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 do. Let's go find some chests. Where are the big old chests? Whee! Um, yeah, let's go over there. Very cool, the fact that you can warp like that. Whee! I have not seen any chests so far. That's not a good sign. Are there any up here? There's a shrine. Uh, we'll play the shrine once. And we get a white item, which will go with, uh, I don't know, is there, uh, what is good for acrid? Bleeding, maybe? Just DPS? Yeah, let's try that. We'll take that. The rusty knife chance to bleed on hit, so that way we're dealing bleed and we're dealing, um, poison damage. We'll go for the use item. And for this one, I'll go for the missile launcher this time. Disposable missile launcher, fire a swarm of missiles. Just so I don't have to think about it too much. I feel like the missile launcher's okay. I have no idea if it's good or not. Uh, when you when it attacks adds instead of attacking like the bosses, it's not great. Yeah, so Acrid's weird, man, because you gotta like face tank so much crap. I never really have understood how to play this character, or any character for that matter, in Risk of Ring. Where are the chests, by the way? Oh, there's one. Okay, there's a couple. Yeah, there's everything right there, yep. Boop! How much damage does that do? I would like to spread to him too, cool. Neat. Alright, let's go for the 50 chest. Hope for a green, we get a green. We'll go for infusion again. I don't know if infusion's worth it or not, but we'll try it. And let's try to get 25 gold as well. Hello! Okay, we'll do the epidemic on these guys. Okay, what do we get from here? Uh, do we just keep increasing the bleed? I think getting one of these scarves is nice. Chance to evade incoming damage. Uh, let's also play the shrine for 17. We don't get anything. All right, let's go find our teleporter. Da, da, ba, bo, 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 da, 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 Kill these two guys down here. What's up, fellas? How's it going? Yeah, I think we need, like, heal on hit for Acrid. Because, like, fighting this guy, for instance, is like, we just don't deal enough DPS. Unless I'm doing something wrong. We take so much damage, and there's not much we can do to, like, avoid taking damage as well. Uh, 25 HP for this. We'll do that. I mean, like, you can stun. That's something. Do, 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 do. Where is our teleporter? There it is, baby. Okay, we got another white item. Yeah, how are you supposed to play this character, man? Oh, my God. Okay, had to use the... Jeez, Luis! No, 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 no! I don't want to die this early! I want to play the game, but it's so hard! Ugh. I swear, does Command just make- yeah. Does Command just make the game harder? Or what's going on here? This seems like impossible. At least to play as accurate. Alright, let's try one more run. 
Let's try one more run. Uh, loader. Loader seems pretty good, actually. Let's go with the chef. Let's go with the chef. Okay, blue. So we got dice. Throw cleaver towards customers for 100% damage. Boomerang's back. Then we got sear. Cook customers for 260% damage until gold and brown, knocking them away. Searing glazed customers deals 78% damage and stuns. Glaze. Right a wave of oil slowing customers. And then second helping, prepare master meal, boosting the next ability cast. I'm going to turn off command. It's not saying that it makes the game harder, and I feel like it's generally not. It's genuinely not, but... Man, oh man, do I feel like we just can't get anything going, you know? Okay, so we got a 50 chest here. So now all items are randomized again. And we've got a... Another 50 chest and a drone. So yeah, we got boomerang cleaver. Yeah, I feel like the chef's really good. Um, because the boomerang cleaver is a hell of a like a, a basic attack, which I'll just call the uh like not only is the range insane, but it also deals damage coming backwards, like insane. Actually insane. Okay, come over here. Hello. Thank you so much. All right, let's go ahead and grab this first 50 chest where we get Timekeeper's Secret Falling to Low Health Stops Time. There is an Imp Shrine. Okay, let's kill this guy and grab that Imp Shrine. So we can Glaze and then we can Seer for extra damage. I have not played the Chef at all, basically, just as a heads up. I haven't played, like, basically any character other than the Huntress. I'm trying to expand. I'm trying to expand. Uh got so many chests over here it'd be great to find the teleporter near here come on come on bam okay that should give me enough for this beautiful get the med kit receive a delayed heal after taking damage that's a big meh all right so all of our chests and everything are on this left side let's keep that in mind as we try to find our try to find our teleporter okay very fun kit too and yeah basically what our rb does is it powers everything else so i don't know what it does to the uh glaze though whoa dang it okay we got enough for that chest back there but let's go find our teleporter asap gotta be over here to the right somewhere huh yo what wahoo uh, let's grab this. Gasoline. Killing enemies sets the ground on fire. That'll be fun and flavorful for our character. Here's the teleporter. Let's do it. No magma worm, man. Enough with the magma worms. Wandering vagrant. All right. Something different, finally. Hello. How's it going? I'll be your chef. For okay, so you cannot cancel. All right. So what we probably want to do is use the glaze... Like so, and then empower the seer, I'm assuming, for big damage. Alright, so yeah, Wandering Vagrant's easy. Famous last words, obviously. So I have to get really good at, uh... Yeah, I have to get really good at, like, utilizing the chef here. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess I'm just terrible at the game, honestly. <laughs> I guess I'm just terrible at the game, and I really need to, um practice a lot because this feels like so freaking difficult yeah and i'm like okay focus up focus up all right glaze seer all right that's the wandering vagrant dead get predatory instincts critical strikes increase attack speed buffs five times that's definitely something all right let's go this way Lo i love the uh the return boomerangs. I feel like attack speed is the way to go for this guy as well. Because you can also go for the seer build, I suppose. Where you try to, like, maximize your seer damage. But it definitely seems like you want to use the, uh, the cleavers on this guy for maximum DPS. Okay, where was all of our chests? We got a 50 chest here. Another timekeeper secret. I don't think I want that, but we don't have a choice. We got a 25 chest here. With arcane blades move faster faster after activating the teleporter. Okay, we get Will of the Wisp. 
chance to detonate enemies on kill. Not bad. Wasn't there also a shrine here or something? Or was that the previous? Okay, we got a drone. Was that the previous run? Whee! Uh, nothing up there to the top left. Okay, so empowering glaze makes it last a lot longer, it seems like. Let's go over here to the right see if we can't find anything. See if we can't find anything to the right. Yeah, look at that damage, especially on this tanky thing while it's underground. Not bad, not bad at all. Huh! All right, hold on, teleporter. We shall be back. All right, unfortunately, I think that's all we're going to get on this level. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. The Damp Caverns, Fungal Haven. All right, so I'm going to do the typical strategy of, like, try to find the teleporter ASAP and then go around the map after that. Because we've been having some horrible luck. I mean, mainly just playing bad, playing poorly. Uh, somebody left a comment to jump constantly, which, yeah, I guess that's the bad thing about playing the Huntress a lot, is, like, you get used to not having to do that, basically, you know? All right, come on down here, little buddy. We'll glaze you up. We'll do one of those. Oh, my God, that damage. Oh, my God. What the hell? I feel like I'm on a hard mode, or, like, I feel like I'm on Monsoon or something. Um, okay, let's go for this guy. Uh, so yeah, what do we, I guess just LB, RB, and then LT is what we want to do. Okay, we should probably grind to get something down there, or maybe we just keep going. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Do where the frick is the shrine not the shrine but you know what i mean glaze and seer okay give me all of your coins all of your coins yes glaze and seer okay so that's the combo glaze and seer uh what do we got here uh let's go for the chance to bleed we are the chef after all need the rusty knife right that is necessary there's a logbook, but we have no way to get up there as the chef. As far as I can tell, at least. Unless we got the proton jetpack or whatever. Okay, we got a 72 chest here. Um, but yeah, I think I'm waiting too long. I think I'm honestly, like, hovering around these chests too much. I need to find the teleporter faster. Okay, we got a big ol' drone there free container I'll take it I'll take it looking for those red telltale particles which there they are so the teleporter is near oh come on you really gonna do this to me all right we're at half health I'm not a fan of that but let's see what we got it's gonna be the ancient wisp and he is a level above let's go find him uh, so, where did he... Huh? What? Oh, he was like invis... Okay. Alright, okay. We gotta focus here. No! Oh, man. I... Ugh. This has been such a difficult day for playing this. I just... I need to figure out, like, a main that I can actually play, you know? Because I can't... It's just not working, man. Okay. Come on. Uh, any way for me to heal? Any way for me to heal? Any way for me to heal? Probably should be throwing out these when I can as well. Good damage there. Good damage there. Okay. No! Don't want that. Don't want to be falling down here either. Oh my god. Okay, dodge that. Nice. No! Don't be shooting me! Oh my lord. Ugh, consider lowering the difficulty, I know, right? Hmm. Yeah, very, very unfortunate string of games here. Maybe we end with a, another Providence trial that we can actually complete. What sounds fun? Fresh Harvest, defeat at least 20 Lemurians before the time runs out. Bonus time, pick up, spawn temporarily. 
to extend the timer. Burn at least 50 enemies using, using your localized sun. Your body movements manipulate the attack's position. Shatter 15 targets in the lava-filled cavern. Quick scope can be used to fire through walls. Collect at least 100 gold to reach the bottom of the cave. Your scrap cubes slide when struck, even while atop them. Try aiming for the corners. Collect at least 100 items before the time expires. Salvage frequently summons substandard duplicators, which will multiplicatively, mul multiplicatively improve your score. Gup sorting. I've tried some of these. Glide to the bottom of the chasm on, in your parachute, collecting at least 55 points on the way down. Use your toxic bubbles to launch yourself out of the drowning pit. Climb at least 70 meters before time runs out. Toxic bubbles can be bounced to on to extend your jump and be struck to reposition them. Start with lens, makers, glasses, and whatever that is. Spat out a toxic bubble, dealing 60% damage over time and slowing enemies. Exploding for 600% damage after 5 seconds can be pushed by attacking. Let's give this a shot. Alright, so how does this work? So we bubble. And the bubble goes straight ahead. Okay. There's like nothing else I can do. So I can jump on the bubble. So literally, okay, the bubble can, oh, that's right. The bubble can be moved by attacking. Okay, how am I supposed to use this to, how am I supposed to use this to climb? What? Hmm, I don't know about this one. Okay, let's go back. What else do we got? Routine maintenance, clean up the top of the massive bridge, clear at least 25 invaders to fulfill programmed orders. The right ingredients, cook at least 15 enemies before the time runs out, death results in scoring penalties. Items spawn at regular intervals, checkpoints, shrines revive you on death, you start with 35 max HP, your health does not naturally generate, we get cook. Rapidly prepare a meal out of customers for 6 by 80% damage, slain customers become tasty temporary meal items, cannot crit. All right, so that's RB. So how does this one work? Whee! We fall down here, cooking some crabs. Huh! Uh, let's retry this. Okay, we could probably grab this item from like jumping from over here, yeah? But now it's not here, what? Okay, where are my items? Aha, the soldier syringe. Uh, hello. Okay, so I gotta cook you, right? Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm supposed to... Oh, I'm just supposed to get 15 kills? That's it? Okay. Does he die if he falls on Fort? No. Alright. So... Ah! I'm so, like, disoriented. Alright. Um, so I can do this, and then... No! The geyser! Okay, let's try this again. All right, so how does so dying resets you? So you don't want to die, because dying gives you a time penalty. All right, so we grab the goat hoof, move a little bit faster. Oh, cool! Oh, nice. Okay, I like that a lot. All right, then we can do this, and that. No, not. You can try to cook him. Okay, so that's gonna give us a penalty. Are we just supposed to like? What am I supposed to do here? I am very confused by this one. I think what the, uh, yeah, I think what the game wants me to do is it wants me to basically go to the opposite side like this and then just do this, right? But then they fall down. Okay, hold on. So we do this and then we serum and then we do 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 and then we cook. There we go. Oh, cool. And it cooks. Oh, sweet jelly brain salad reduce skill cooldowns by 1 second. Okay, this is doable for sure. Here, let's go grab this goat hoof. Do a whole bunch of these. So yeah, we want to cook them to get the uh, the, the uh, bonus items, basically. You're just moving around the level feels like so slow. Okay, let's jump down here. We'll do that, we'll do that. That's so cool, I love that skill. Definitely switch into that. Okay, so we gotta remember, dying gives us a time penalty. And it stuns, that's so good. Marinated Lizard Loaf, increased damage. Okay, down we go. Do that, do this, and then cook them up. I love it. Okay, we die, but that's fine. 
Should be okay here. No! St uh, I'm so disoriented. Okay, that was fine because we grab all the items. Gain barrier and what? Okay, so we got the checkpoint, but we still have penalties. Okay, let's jump up here and grab those goat hooves. We'll knock this guy off. Nice, we can jump all the way over there. Okay, I'm going to cook you guys up, if you don't mind. Beautiful. Big bison steak, increase health regen and movement speed. Okay, let's go this way. If we can get the gold challenge, that'll be sick. Nice. Okay, what do we got here? More golem essence on the rocks. Or on the rock, yeah, on the rocks. Ooh, we got the crown. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can hold on to that crown from the deaths, though. Here, let's cook this guy. Or not, that's fine. Okay, 20 seconds left. 20 seconds remain. Hate that they fall down there. Um, sometimes there's... Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think we got the crown, because unless the penalty's huge. Be excellent to get one more kill in case it's... Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, new skill unlocked. Cook, which I definitely like quite a lot. Um, and then we got the crown. Yeah, nice. Okay, that was a very easy crown. Sweet. All right, we'll end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for all the fails there. I ju I'm just going to have to practice some other characters because, my God, this game is so tough. You just do so much to, like, prepare, then you just die instantly. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.